Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to take a look at Rad Window. Rad Window lets you create a window anywhere in your application. It also gives you tremendous control over what would otherwise be standard alert dialog boxes. Let's get started by creating a new project and we'll call the new project Rad Windows Getting Started. Click OK. Accept this as a Silverlight 5 application. And the Telerik Project Configuration Wizard comes up and we're going to choose navigation that will add the navigation reference and all its dependent references. Now the interesting thing about Rad Window is that we're not going to declare this in the XAML. Typically these are declared programmatically. Let's create a little private method to help create our Rad Window. We'll call it Create Window and in here we're going to start by creating an extremely simple Rad Window. Type Rad Window, I hit Control Dot to add the Telerik Windows Controls namespace, and we'll declare a new instance of Rad Window. Let's set the width and height on our Rad Window so that it takes up the appropriate amount of space in our browser, and we'll call Rad Window dot Show to show the window. Let's run the application. When the application starts, Create Windows will be called, and the window will be created and shown. Let's go first up to just code and clean up some of these using statements by saying organize and update. That's a little bit neater and we can run the application. The window comes up and you can see that you can relocate the window and you have buttons to close, maximize and minimize the window and also to restore it once it's minimized. That's about as minimal a rad window as we can get. Let's see if we can add some content to that window. Rad Window has a content property, and so typically you're going to put some kind of panel in there so that you can put additional controls in as well. Let's start by creating a new grid. We'll know that we're seeing the grid by setting the background color on the grid to a solid color. And in this case, I'm going to opt to make that background color blue. With that in place, we have a grid, it has a background, we're ready to add that to our window. So we're going to set the content property of the Rad Window to the grid and run the application. As you can see, our new blue grid is fully filling our Rad Window. And if I can just grab this with the cursor, we can still move that window around, close it, open it, and so forth. Once we have a grid or other panel, in the content of our Rad Window, we can put in virtually anything we like to get an example of what that would involve. We're going to create a text block. Let's set the foreground for the text block, set the foreground color to white, and then set the text in our new text box to Hello World. We'll now add that text block to our grid control which of course is the content for our rad window and so that text will show inside the grid which is inside the window and you can extrapolate from this that you could add any controls you wanted to that grid or additional panels as well i hope you've seen how very easy it is to set up rad window and get started adding content to a rad window for Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. I look forward to talking with you more about Rad Window very soon.